Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 63. Starting things off with a Greater Demon task, so going to be heading over to Zami God Wars. Um, looking for the Hilt and possibly the Staff of the Dead. Um, so let's see what we can get. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hey, and that is my 200th kill at Zami. I do enjoy this boss. Um, wouldn't mind going a little bit dry here to be perfectly honest um, it's fairly enjoyable on task um, but yeah just after the hilt and the staff of the dead I wouldn't mind getting one more spear as well for eventual corp kills but that's not a massive priority at the moment to be honest there we go that is my third Zamorakian spear and the last one that I need so I'm going to keep that for any eventual corp kills I'm not planning to do corp um, in the near future but that's nice to see um, yeah, hopefully we can get a hilt or stuff the dead this task, that'd be really cool. And that is 81 rune crafting, so five left to go until I can do the achievement diary cape. So as you can see, the new treasure trail update has been added to the game. And I've actually got 10 dark totems, so I'm going to go and do some Skatizo kills, which I've not done for ages. And uh, yeah, do some clue scrolls. Um, there's a few rewards on the hard table that look pretty interesting, but mostly I'm interested in trying out the new Mimic boss. If I get an Elite Clue, I've actually decided I'm not going to trade it in for a Master, just because there are a number of steps on the Master Clues that I still can't do, and um, the Elite Clues still have a chance of rolling the Mimic, even though it's lower, and of course I can uh, possibly get a Master Clue from uh, either the Hard or Elite Clues as a reward anyway, so uh, let's go and see what we can get. So I finished up my 10 Skotozo kills, nothing too special in terms of loot, but I did get 10 Hard Clues and 4 Elites. I completely forgot that they'd updated the reward caskets to be stackable, so I can hopefully open all of these now and get some good loot. I'm going to start with the Hard Clues, obviously if I get a Master Clue I'm going to stop and try and complete it, um, so let's see what we get. There we go, Master Clue. Let's go and see if we can complete it. Well, going to have to drop that one, unfortunately, but we will go and open the rest of the clues. Not bad. Not bad. That's bad. Uh, that might be unique. That might be unique as well. Oh, I didn't even all fit into my inventory. And the four Elite Clues. No. Ooh. I don't think that's new. I think that's an older reward. I've not got it. And another master, so we can try that one. As long as we can do the first step. Yes, we can. All right, well, thankfully did manage to complete that master clue. What can we get? Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Um, samurai hat. I don't, I think I might have the gloves, actually. Uh, I can't remember how many pieces there are in the full set. Yeah, I've got the gloves, so that's pretty cool. And the bonus easy clue from a gourmet impling. Well, yeah. Overall, actually pretty disappointed with those rewards considering I've done, what was that, 12 clues overall? 14 perhaps? But yeah, that's a nice way to round it off, I guess. Although I did not realize that that was the last piece of uh, Gilded Rune that I need to complete the set. So I can put that in the house and that is three bank spaces saved, which is pretty good. And that is 82 rune crafting, so four left to go. Hey, there we go, Staff of the Dead. So I literally just need the Zamorak kill and I will be completely done with Zami. That is really nice to see, it's a 1 in 508 drop. I just got a curved bone from a Gorak. And I'm not sure how rare that is, but I think it's 1 in 5k. I may as well pick it up just for the uh, little bit of extra construction XP, but certainly was not expecting that. Alright, well that is going to be the last kill of the task, um, and it's been a really good one to be fair, getting the third and final Zamorak Spear that I need on the account, and also the Staff of the Dead, so hopefully get another Greater Demon task fairly soon and can come back and try and get the hilt. Came to Konar to get my 700th task, and we are heading straight back to God Wars, I'm going to do some uh, Armadil. I need to go and collect some chins because I don't have enough for this task, but this will be a pretty decent amount of Kree kills and who knows, might be able to get my first Armadil drop. We shall see. And that is 92 Hunter, halfway to 99. And I think at 93, I'll unlock the ability to bare hand catch 
dragon implings, which will be pretty cool for spotting them um, out and about when I'm doing skilling and stuff. But I don't think I'll hit 93 on the way to finishing this Slayer task, because I'll probably have enough chins to finish uh, all the armadillo kills before then. There we go, that is my second God Sword shard, and that is one that I do need. Um, I've got the third shard, I believe, so once I get the second, then I will have a full blade, which is pretty cool. All right, well, that is the armadillo task done. Uh, my 700th task in a row, and up to 93 Kriara kills. Don't know why I said it like that. I always find that the task lengths are a little bit misleading. 250 Aviancies sounds like a lot, but because I have to kill basically two of the melee minions per Kriara kill, that's actually only 50 kills, but um, looking forward to getting another task is a, is good fun, even though the prep does take a while, and hopefully get my first Armadil item sometime soon. And got an elite clue from Kriara, what can we get? Not much there. Well, that is another pretty big Greater Demon task, so I'm gonna head back to Zami God Wars can't really remember what my ending Casey was last time, but this will get us a little bit closer to the drop rate for the Zami Hilt. But first, some clue scrolls to open. Uh, let's start with the hard. Ooh, master clue. See if we can do it. We can. All right, managed to complete the master clue. What can we get? Hmm, not much there, and the elite. Ooh, I don't think I've got those. That's um, possibly the set complete yeah I've got the body so be able to put those in the house and save a bank space that's pretty cool first kill of the task and picking up another spear that's my fourth one um, let's see what we can get for the rest of this uh, this task add another drop coming in a steam battle staff I think that's my second one I can't honestly remember but it's not too rare I think it's the same drop rate as the spear like one in 128 or something like that and a minion shard. Unfortunately, it's not the one that I need because I already have a shard three and a shard one, so I need a shard two. But it's still quite cool to see, it's pretty rare. I'm getting an awful lot of drops this task, I have to say. And that's another Steam Battle Staff. That's actually my fourth one. Um, the one that I got earlier was my third, and this is my fourth. And that is the last shard that I need to make my god sword. That is off a minion as well, which is pretty rare, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the drop rate is for a specific piece, but I think getting one piece off a minion, I want to say is one in 768. I could be wrong. Uh, the drop rates aren't... It's not like one to eight, one out of five, twelve, like it is with a lot of other places at God Wars. So that's pretty cool. Um, and hopefully soon we'll be able to get my first hilt and can make my first full god sword. All right, well, that is the task complete. Not expecting anything from that kill, but it has been a very successful task, I have to say, lots of drops. And I'm hoping in the next one, we'll be able to get the hilt and complete the first God Wars set, other than the pet, which I won't be going for, but it'd be cool to finish Sammy uh, with all of the items apart from that. And that is it for today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's been really fun doing so much God Wars and I'm looking forward to doing some more in the next episode. Thought I'd showcase some of the Zami loot so far. Still looking for the hilt and hopefully not going to go too dry for that. The next episode I think is actually going to take quite a while to come out. I'm going on holiday in a week for two weeks and just at the moment getting clips seems to take a while. So the videos, as much as I'd like them to be out once a week, it's more like every two to three weeks and the next episode is gonna be even longer than that, unfortunately. But thank you for watching, and I hope you'll stick around for the next episode. Until then, take care, guys.